happy Season 80 story of greatness in the men's basketball tournament is about to unfold into another intense battle between the arch rivals, De La Salle University and Ateneo de Manila University. Pero bago ang muling pagharap sa finals ng Green Archers at ng Blue Eagles, kasama natin ang UAP greats from both universities. At nandito ang mga UAP idols natin para mapag-usapan natin ang mga pambato nila this season. This is SNA Unfiltered, the UAP Finals Special. Ako po si Anton Rojas and today, as I mentioned, I will be joined by basketball royalty. But not just basketball royalty because my co-host is also recognized as royalty, hindi lamang dito sa Pilipinas, kundi all over the world. We are all very lucky because we will be witnesses to the return of the Queen Miss Philippines or Miss World Philippines 2017, <laughs> Miss Laura Lee. Yeah, naman yung introduction mo, Anton. Nakaka-pressure. No, it's great to be working you with working with you again, Laura. Oh, it's I'm great glad to see to you. Back. Welcome I'm back. I'm super glad to be back. I'm glad to be back home and finally back with sports and action. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Kapamilya, today is a very exciting day because we're counting down the minutes to game number yeah. one of the UAAP Season 80 Finals. Basketball fans not only in the Philippines but all over the world are getting ready to switch their game faces on. Kaya Nga. Shout out to our mga kapamilya watching on TFC and live stream. Now, of course, our kapamilyas can also watch out for a lot of throwbacks and maybe some revelations from our UAAP greats this afternoon. Now, today it's all about the upcoming UAAP finals. But of course, before we get to that, it's time for a blast from the past. And today we're going to be talking about a lot of the UAAP throwbacks, and we have some very special guests. So, shall we start introducing our UAAP guests? All right, let's do it. All right, let's start from. The green side, De La Salle University. Unahin ko na ang aking uh, kaibigan at uh, kasama sa, sa broadcast team. One of the uh, players na talagang hinahangaan and the only player in this room. I'm sure he's very proud of that because he's the only guy in this room to have had his jersey retired by the school. Ren Ren wow. Ritualo, four-time yes. UAAP champion from 1998 to 2001. Thank you, Anton. So kind words mo. <laughs> Very flattering. <laughs> At siyempre, kasama rin ni Ren Ren, ang uh, Tubong Puerto Galera, also a uh, champion. He will say two-time champion because he's he's proud of that. And I personally witnessed the two championships that he won as well for LaSalle. Rico Merhofer. Animo. Yes. <laughs> and uh, kasama rin si Rico sa Alam Pilipinas sa ASEAN Basketball League. Pero siyempre, hindi makukompleto ang LaSalle kung hindi nila makakasama ang two-time UAP MVP and two-time champion, the big man, Don Aliado. Thank you for uh, inviting me and uh, pleasure to be here. All right, so we have uh, the Green Archers all set and ready for s &A Unfiltered. And of course, with Green, we can't forget about Blue and we have to introduce our UAP greats from Katipunan Avenue. Now let's kick it off with our two-time finals MVP who has won a championship all five years he's played in the UAP Gravenamanto. So of course, we have Nico Salva. Thank you, Lau. And uh, it's an honor to be here with my kuyas and my idols. <laughs> Sino ba yung mga grade school pa ako. <laughs> grade right. school pa daw. Okay. So joining Nico, we have uh, two other very great basketball players who are here widely known in the UAP. We have co-MVPs for season 65 who brought home the championship to Ateneo after a 14-year drought. So let's kick it off with Larry Fonacher. Hi, thank you, Lau. Thank you, Anton, for having me here. And of course, his co-MVP, who also brought home the championship in Season 65, Wesley Gonzalez. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, inviting me here. And thank you for coming back despite walking out last Actually, season. Actually, nung nasa labas nga ako, nakita ako. Ano, eh. Suke, suke, punta rito. Sino ba ang dahilan kung bakit ka nag-walk out? Si Ren Ren ba? Si Arwin. Si Arwin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buti, buti na lang wala si Arwin ngayon because it's Ateneo and LaSalle for the second straight year in the UAP Finals. Now, I know you guys have been following uh, the teams in the UAP. Minsan nakikita ko kayo watching in the venues. Ren Ren, of course, and, and Don, you coaching against the teams in the UAP. So, we want to ask you to start off our discussion. Ano ba ang meron sa mga teams nyo ngayon, Ateneo and LaSalle, na wala sa iba? Why do you think your teams are capable of winning the championship this year. Who wants to start? Uh, I'll start. Let, let, let yeah. me start because I got some things I want to say on TV. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. We, we, we have some know. chips as well also. Uh, so everybody at home, please tune in right now. No, I think for LaSalle, they have a lot of help. Back then, we didn't have too much of a budget. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, but we, we made do what we have. So, um, 
you know, the, the things that they have with LaSalle right now. I mean, everything they do is pretty scientific. The training, um, it's, you know, with all that firepower on that team, how could you not lose, really? I mean, you know, any, you can put anybody there, and they can win. So, I mean, and you can put any coach, and they can, if they don't win, it's a disappointment. So, so are you putting pressure on uh, Coach Aldenayo? <laughs> oh, that's no, it, it depends on how he handles it, if he, he, ha, if he knows how to handle the pressure. So are you have comparing uh, Ateneo or, uh, or the other teams against uh, Lasala? In terms of uh, saying... No, no, I haven't compared it yet. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying for at, at this point, Lasal, you know, it's, uh, they're in that position, they're, they're in a great position to win the, the championship because of the help that they're getting and the support. All right, do you think Ateneo can match <laughs> this so-called help that Don is saying LaSalle has? Doesn't Ateneo have help as well? I mean, Ateneo trains in the States. LaSalle just stayed in the Philippines the whole time. So what's your response to Don Aliado's statement that LaSalle has a lot of help? You can see uh, that, there is, that there is help. But in terms of their defense, they help each other. They help the helpers. And then they're a very disciplined team. So... I think they're one of the most disciplined team I've seen in, in years, right? And uh, they stick uh, they stick within the system. They you don't see them gambling, making a reckless play. So I think that's one thing. I think that's an advantage. So you're saying from a basketball standpoint, because of the discipline that Ateneo has, they can match the help that Don is saying Lasal has. Yeah, may help them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that you guys have been obviously talking about the current generation of players and how yeah. it's been different from your generation, what impresses you in particular about the players that we're seeing now on court? Yan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> for, for me, uh, while watching them play, because the two Ateneo Lasal game, I both. Yeah. Um, um, I'm so happy that they sila ng ticket for me because <laughs> 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 Hindi ka ba libre? Hindi, Hindi nga, eh. Don't you just have to show your face to so, enter so, two championships? So the, the question is, I impressed kay Mbala. Kasi siyempre, sino bang gusto sumugod sa pagbala, di ba? <laughs> Joke yun. And then yung, yung Rivero brothers, I know, I know how hard they work. Kasi I've been training with them ever before, nung young, younger pa sila. So I know how hard they work. So I think they are the the factor kung paano magcha-champion na sir. I just want to follow up on what you said. Minention mo nga si Ben Mbala. Marami tayong mga foreign student athletes ngayon for the big men like Don and Rico. Let's say you were playing against foreign student athletes. How do you think you would have fared against them? Oh, are you asking Don? Because it's not that loud, right? Who's the question niyo, wala for? Talaga. De, meron, meron, who's the question for? Oh, no, it's for you, man. For me? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we, I played against foreign students back yeah. in my time. Okay. Uh, guys as big as, uh, bigger than Papi Sar. Mm. Uh, remember from UE? UE, UE. That guy, and he was just as strong. Kinain ni Don. Totoo ba? Kinain mo lang? You know, it's, t they don't have, uh, I don't have any more videos, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> I, played, I played against imports back in the day. Uh, so whether it's imports or locals. Who are they? Who are the imports you played against? Uh, played his against? name was Mo Mohammed Ali. That was his name. Are you serious? <laughs> Mo Are you serious? Mohammed Ali. Mohammed, Mohammed uh, Ali. In UE. Um, yeah. Is that basketball? or? Dude, I, that guy was, <laughs> I'm just making sure. That was a big boy. I'll oh, tell yeah. you. He was huge. But, you know, it, it's not just about one player. You know, it's not about me against that guy. It was my team against that particular guy. So I never made it an individual battle because you know, we played well as a team. I had confidence in my team. Therefore, di niya kami talot. Kaya talonin. That was my mentality. Pag may doubt ka naman, saka may papasa yung bola. Kami dalawa lang naman nirenren. For now, yung mga, mga athletes today, they're very skilled. Dribbling, handling that basketball, going to the basket. Uh, I ko lang they lack of outside shots. Uh, walang consistent shooter nowadays. They're they're more relying on their athletic athleticism, their athletic ability to go to the basket. They're really quick and explosive. Uh, they really can jump, but uh, their outside shooting is uh, very questionable. So, I, wala pa ako nakikita uh, consistent 
outside shooter. Then like before our time, like there's Larry for the share. So yun yung ano, uh, yun yung different. So kasi big man ang daming mga gagaling na big man yun. Unlike the time of Don, si Don lang yung magaling. Wow. <laughs> so now that we've heard from the green side, what about the blue side? Yan. Who are the guys that impress you this year? Si Larry. Um, first of all, um, the whole Ateneo team has impressed me so much. I think it starts with Coach Tab. Um, for me, I'm a believe na believe Coach Tab. I mean, he's a world class coach. I worked with him under Gilas and in TNT. Actually, our last my last championship was with TNT. He was there to to help us and push us hard. No, so I think his standard standard of excellence has just um, flowed down to all the players, and you can see their performance this season. Na grabbing result nila. Um, the way they managed to find ways how to win, um, and you don't know kung sino mag step up. Uh, it's really impressive. I'm uh, knowing Coach Tab and how he, how his style, his Euro basket style, is um, um, is taught to the to the players. Um, it, it's really, you know, it's really impressive. And I kind of miss playing under him. No? I, I learned so much from him, and um, yeah, it shows. No? So that's the edge that um, I think that Ateneo has. Um, to compete against us. When Ateneo was down by three points against FU in the final four, did you start to have any doubts that they wouldn't be able to pull it out when Coach Tab called that timeout and it led to the Isaac go three pointer? I had some doubts, um, and it kind of showed in the timeout. I mean, the mood there it was quiet. It was um, uh, I saw some heads down, and um, in that situation, it was. Medyo madali na lang depensahan yun eh. I mean, to prevent a three, you could have fouled and you could have switched everything and just um, covered the three-point line. So parang for me, kung sa PBA, parang medyo ano na yun, um, obvious na ma- alam namin kung anong gagawin. But, you know, I guess miracles happen. And... Pero sinabi na Arwin Santos na kung naglalaro daw siya, hindi makakatira si Isaac mo. <laughs> kung. Kung. <laughs> kung. <laughs> May sinasabi si West Ren. But <laughs> yun talagang advantage ng Ateneo this team this year. Mm-hmm. Now you never know who's gonna step up. There's no one superstar. There's no one go-to guy. So that also allows for an element of surprise because FU had a harder time defending them. And we expect to see a lot more surprises when the finals begin. So sa aming pagbabalik, throwback tayo sa playing years ng ating UAP greats sa Premier Collegiate League in the Philippines. SNA Unfiltered. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to SNA Unfiltered, the UAP Final Special. Kasama natin ngayon ang mga UAP greats from Ateneo and De La Salle. At bago ang finals, game number one, mamaya mag-throwback muna tayo to our UAP idols as college years. Now, speaking of throwbacks, of course, we have to ask the most important question, what do you miss about playing in the UAP? Now, let's start with someone who only recently <laughs> left the UAP. We have so, the Ateneo Blue Eagle and superstar, that's me, that's me, that's Nico me, right? Salva. <laughs> the atmosphere, of course, the crowd, the school spirit. When you play an Ateneo La Salle game, when you come out of the tunnel, Sobrang excited ka na. You hear everybody screaming maybe an hour before the game pa. And then just just being ano, you know, being in that moment and then enjoying every cheer na naririnig mo, then yung yung adrenaline and rush that you feel while playing. It's there's there's nothing like it. Okay, balik tayo sa Lasal side. Ren, alam ko in the five finals appearances that you had, you played against FU, UST, and then finally in your last year, Ateneo. Sino yung team na pinaka nahirapan kayo and what team were you most looking forward to playing against? Well, it was UST. Uh, Don was still there. Mm. Sobrang inside out yung attack sa amin Don. We're, we're a very defensive team, pero in offense, wala kami buta sa offense eh. Kasi I had, we had Don inside. I, I was the outside. Monose was there also. Uh, Dino Aldeguer. USD was tough. Every position, medyo lamang sila kasi they're really deep. So, yun yung hindi ko makalimutan na year kasi napapanaginipan ko sila. Mm-hmm. Every, every time I play against them, uh, <laughs> it's really hard. I just want to share, uh, Don. I know you want to say something, pero may kinuwento sa akin si Ren Ren kasi. Sinabi na sa akin na sa dami ng mga UAAP memories niya, his most memorable moment was him giving up a shot for a pass in the finals against UST to Don Aliado. And 
when you got the ball, you gave it to Dino Aldeguer and he made that three <laughs> in the finals. Are you surprised that that's his most memorable moment? A pass and not a three-point shot or a game winner? Well, yeah, because he never passes. <laughs> see, uh, de, seryoso, ah. Si Ren Ren, he's my teammate. Pag pasa ko sa kanya ng bola, wala na, goodbye na yan. He's gonna shoot it, you know, and that's the type of player Ren Ren is. You know, he wants to take the big shot. You know, he passed it to me. I was really gonna take that shot. But then I saw... I saw uh, uh, Gellig, Gellig, Nino Gellig. Gellig. I don't know why he even tried to challenge me. Then I pass it on to Dino. And then you know, they got the foul, he got the shot in, and I guess the rest is history. But you know, what Ren Ren, going back to what Ren Ren was saying, uh, USD was our, our um, they were our one of our toughest opponents. But to you, was there any one specific player that you idolized or maybe you feared to go up against? Let's start with Wesley. Back in the day, it was probably Ren Ren. Run. <laughs> sobrang na so, sobrang shooter siya at during the time that you can't leave him. So so it's very scary to you know. Uh, I I was I was the one who was always gar guarding Renin at that time. So you know I look forward and at the same time you know I uh, have the utmost respect for for that guy. And of course you know meron din kaba uh, going up against him because you know he's gonna score you know a lot when you let him score. So you have to do your best. So. I guess it was it, it, it was uh, Ren Ren at that time. Wow. But off the court, you were friends, the man. No. <laughs> I hate Actually, him. we became teammates. Sa, sa pro. So, ah, okay. we, we were even roommates. We were even roommates. I hated it. I hated it. Why could you expound? Why did you hate being roommates with Brad? I know. I mean, he's from La Salle. I'm from Ateneo. <laughs> then we're, so suddenly, we're roommates. Yung UAP. <laughs> yung UAP. I hated him. Are you guys familiar with the millennial terms na Pet Malu and, and Lodi? Do you guys use that? The, on actually, your, bro, on your Instagram post. That is a uh, NC na among yun eh. Sa mga tweets. Okay. Na naman, eh. Kaya naman, uh, so so because of that, because of those terms na Lodi, Pet Malu. Lau, are you familiar with those? Medyo. Medyo. <laughs> o oh, sige. Ngayon lang, medyo today lang. O oh, sige. <laughs> sino sino para sa inyo ang currently ah, sino ang uh, pinaka Lodi at Pet Malu? na basketball player from Ateneo or La Salle <laughs> sa UAAP. Rico, sino? Ako? Um, for me, ano? Dalawa eh. Okay lang ba dalawa? Sige, tatlo. sige. Actually, actually tatlo. Okay. Sampuin mo na. Okay, may yawin mo. Bugtin mo na lang. <laughs> si, si Mbala, the bullet. <laughs> the bullet. <laughs> the bullet. The bullet. Tony, magsanak yun ah. The bullet. Saka yung Rivero Brothers. Iba talagang klase yung work ethics na alam ko talaga. So... Lodi talaga sa kapet malu siya. <laughs> and for Larry, you know naman yung mga Lodi at pet malu from the blue side. I like ma Matt niya to. Um, kind of underestimate him. You think na um, he's, an or he's plays ordinarily, but as he's proven clutch time, he <laughs> he saves them. And you know, I think marami pang bubuga yun si si Matt. Niya. Thirty also. I mean that dunk is the dunk he did was ano, uh, one for the ages. <laughs> Okay, so now we've talked about the players, we've talked about the teams, it's time to talk about the coaches. So, sino ba ang pinaka-fear na coaches during your times? Si Coach Ren -ren. France. <laughs> Coach France. France. Coach yeah. France. That's it. Consensus, ah. Sige, France, ma pumari na rin ako. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, Coach hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I heard the rumor, I, I don't know if this is true, I, I want you to confirm, Wes, um, I heard that um, when Coach Joe Lipa was still coaching Ateneo... No. I wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. I, I heard that he threw you out of practice a couple of times. Is, is that true? That's, that's why I'm not there. <laughs> exactly. I'm not there. Yeah, he threw me out of practice like... Yeah, why? why? What, what, what's, what were the reasons? You know, I, I, I look at him as a father when I was playing for him. So, you know, what he did for me at that time was, you know, just... Just like what he, you know, what he, what the father does to to a son, so he's just uh, disciplining me. Pero, pero aside from that, you know, uh, it was all good. It's all good. Okay, well, you guys obviously have a lot of hugot towards each other. <laughs> <laughs> Medyo na awkward na ako dito. <laughs> but uh, do you think the rivalry is as intense this year as oh, it I is during your time? I no, no, no. 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 Why? What Everybody's makes you saying this? no. Okay. No. From my from my point of right. view, no. Because I mean, it's 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 not as uh, you know, so to speak, 
intense. Every, everyone's friends from, you know, from, from both Nobody's teams, doing eh. this. Yeah, yeah, no one's doing that or, you know, or hitting or trash talking. There are sequences that they help them to help them. I hate that. <laughs> I even tell my yeah, players. Hey, hey, yeah, you, I saw, I you, I saw you tweeted about that. But that right there is the enemy. You know, you're, you're trying to beat that guy. And you're, but you have to keep that competitive spirit. I think... For the most part, the competitive spirit in today's game has somewhat been blanketed, somewhat been filtered. Um, the, 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 the rivalry also between La Salle and Ateneo has somewhat uh, dissipated in a way. During in our time, oh man, you try to come by me during a screen, I'm going to make sure you, you'll feel it. Let's go back to UAP Season 65 Finals, Ateneo, La Salle. Let's say Ren and let's say you three were playing. Okay, let's just say you guys were still playing. Mac Macardona brings the ball down, crossover, Turnover. hook shot. He gets blocked by he gets blocked by Larry Fonacher, gets blocked again, and this guy Wesley Gonzalez comes over to him and points at him on the floor. If you guys were there, what would you guys have done? Oh, well, I'm gonna go run. Actually, I saw that game. I, I was there in the Coliseum. I wanted to run to Westy and Mac Mac that time. I want to push Westy out of the playing court. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I saw that. So no, I wasn't playing anymore with, uh, with La Salle. Yeah. But I really wanted to, to go inside the floor and push him outside the, uh, outside the court. I, said it was, I, I felt Mac Mac's disappointment. Eh. So I was there. I was like, Bakit walang tumulong kay Mac? I was like, first things for first thing in my mind was like, Bakit walang tumulong kay Mac? Mac, someone has to run there and pick him up and push push all the blue shirts there or the white shirts. Tulungan ko kaya siya noon. Kaya nga ako tumakbo na dahil yung tinakbo ko noon eh. So, tulungan ko siya noon. So, so that was my first instinct. But but walang ganoon, walang tumulong. Alright, so in line with social media, kasi nga loud, diba? Everybody's so active right now in social media. Marami tayong nakikita mga mga hashtags at uh, sayang dahil nung time nyo hindi pa uso yung OOTDs but, but I know some of you guys are posting OOTDs on your uh, social media handles nowadays so we're gonna do a little activity sisilipin natin yung mga OOTDs ng mga current players and uh, we wanna know your opinion kung thumbs up ba or kung ano, ano ba yung yes. emoji natin so now. basically we're gonna make this very fun mm. guys we're gonna show you a picture of yourselves on the screen <laughs> of your own oh, pictures yeah. now and in the past. And what you have to do is if you like the picture, you yeah. pick up these signs and you give yourselves a thumbs up. Yeah. Wes, this is for you. Yeah. But if you don't like what you're wearing or if you regret what you're wearing, then obviously you put up the scared emoji or shocked emoji. So we have Richie Rivero. Don has a comment about his facial expressions. Do you, do you like it? Do you guys yeah. like, okay. like his yeah. OTD, like his post? Ren likes yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Oh. <laughs> Very creative, huh? Yeah. Very creative. Yeah, the Ateneo and La Salle rivalry has similar yeah. down. Yeah, definitely. But there's a problem with him here, right? He's always looking at him. He's got that, uh, he's got, he's always got that uh, Zoolander look. Yeah. Ah, but they don't know who Zoolander Steel. is. Blue <laughs> Steel, huh? <laughs> but you know, now we have the Instagram yeah. posts and OOTDs, but before you guys had all the candy magazine shoots. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I remember those. I, I have candy a couple cuties. Of candy, candy cuties. <laughs> chocolate. Oh, oh, do, do you have, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> do you have Wesley's picture? <laughs> Our next photo comes from the one and only 30 Ravenna. Now, is this a like or a shock? You guys decide. Like. Oh, so another <laughs> another pair of uh, or another full set of likes yeah. from all the players. Ano Russell Westbrook ng UAP? Oh. Very stylish, actually. Oh oh thirty. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh oh thirty. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Super stylishy thirty every game. Parang ngayon lang na impresidon. Lodian, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
maybe seven years ago. Those ano salmon shorts are. Game. Negative okay. yan, negative. Ryan and Rico ne don't like it. Negative yan. Walang medyas, oh. <laughs> no, pink pants, eh. Flippers ba yun? Walang medyas. Ren, it's not pink. It's salmon. <laughs> Di mas malala? <laughs> salmon. Spell. Salmon. Spell. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like or shock? Like, of course. Wait, like like Wes, Wes is shocked. <laughs> Don, Wes is shock. Payat mo dyan, bro. Kahit ako, nashock ako. Super iba yung itsura mo. Wow, look at that. I actually like like why he, what he's wearing, but uh, I just don't like Don. <laughs> Back in the day, I, I didn't like Don. Larry, fun to share. Ang daming, ang daming ano, sumisigaw sa bahay ngayon. Kasa yung OOTD niya na. Me, I don't like it. Hinahanap ni Rico yung OOTD. Oh, yung OOTD. Like, lahat like. Eh, nakubad eh. Buti ko nga. Okay nga, kaso hindi nga. Parang wala naman yung patikin. You know, it's like, naraman lang slip. Kay Larry kasi, he doesn't have to wear an outfit eh. His smile is his outfit. Sino ko sa doon? Nasa laki ng bahay mo. Ano ito, home theater mo? Ginawa mong bahay yung cinema. Come on, Rico. Bro. Come on, bro. What are you doing? Nauso sa sarili. Nauso sa sarili, no? Yeah, man. Nauso sa sarili. Ako, I like it. It's it's Rico. Diba? Kung si Rico. Comfortable. Diba? Okay, our next photo comes from... Yeah! Oh! Hey! Hey, man! Hey! Hey! Do you like it, Rico? Hey! I like it. This is what you were talking about. My goodness! I like it. Take a look, magazine photo shoot. Take a look, take a look, take a look. I like it. Who you know? Take a look, take a look, take a look. For candy cuties, man. Oh my goodness! Um, ano yung tayni? Tabloid ata yun. Pero magano, magano binayad yun yung mga magupad? Hindi ko sasabihin, parin hindi ko sasabihin. Parin libre yan. Libre na lang. Sa Bulgar. Final photo. Oh! Manong! Like! Manong D! Like! Manong D! Swaggy D! Huwag kayong magkamali ah! Oo, okay. Like it! Swaggy D! Swaggy D! Swaggy D! Yeah, there you go. So it's a complete set of thumbs ups for Manong Derek Swaggy D. So thank you guys for uh, that very entertaining discussion. And for all your photos and memories. Yeah. <laughs> all right, when we return, we'll talk about how the league has changed over the years. SNA Unfiltered will be right back. <laughs> still watching SNA Unfiltered, the UAAP final special. Now today, we're joined by some very important UAAP greats, and we're talking everything about the UAAP upcoming finals. Mm -hmm. But we're also reminiscing about the UAAP way back when. That's right. But if you just joined us, you're in for a very special treat because we've reached the part of our show where we ask our guests very fun and maybe a little bit of controversial <laughs> questions. These so, guys are ready. So why don't we start with Ren? Yes. We're going to ask you about um, a UAP rule, mm -hmm. and if there's any rule in the UAP that you'd like to have changed. Well, the uh, possession arrow. Uh, before, uh, ganun, yung it's jump ball automatic. Eh. Now it's a possession arrow. Medyo hindi, hindi favored sa mga teams kasi automatic sa kabilang teams. Paano pag may clutch moments or crucial moments na kailangan mo yung possession mo, you have to jump it out before it's a jump ball. So, yun yung isang rule na I want to be changed. Now, for our next question, this is, this is something that is asked even in the professional ranks. The imports, or in the UAP's case, foreign student athletes, Wesley, tingin mo ba nakakatulong yung presence ng mga foreign student athletes sa mga teams sa UAP? Do you think this helps the development of our homegrown players? Just good and bad to it for mm. me. Because, ah. you know, the, the good thing about it is they can alleviate the style of, or, or the level of playing mm. of, of the locals here in the, in the UAP because of those uh, foreign players. But, you know, it some, uh, somehow, for me, I think 
it cuts down the you know the the opportunity for for the local players to to shine so you know there's a good and bad to it you know i can't really say that hey we should take them out mm. and or or we should you know maintain this but you know i think in the in the in the, in the level of a uh, of call and in, in the collegiate collegiate level i think for me if i were to decide i mm. would take them out because i want our local players mm. to you know to you know to shine and and uh, have their opportunity mm. you know uh, probably in the pro ranks you know it's okay because uh you know entertainment wise you know the style of play it's 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 it's, it's really going to you know pull pull the 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 others up mm. and you as a local player will be you know uh forced to play better against those uh, mm. those uh, imports but you know during this this level parang parang kailangan establish muna yung, yung, yung college players. Mm. Uh, with the UAP award system, I wish they did it like the PBA. Yeah. You know, um, they have this UAP MVP and then put like a best import award. Mm. So have the, the mythical five, then the MVP taken from the locals, then get the best import among the imports. All right, now let's go back to Don. Um, I know, Don, you have a lot to say about this. Let's talk about the referees' calls. Now, some people are saying some people are saying that there are games that referees decide. And because of these tight calls, um, do you agree that players should just play through the breaks of the game? They have no choice but to play through the bad calls. It's unfortunate. It happens, un un unfortunately. Uh, you know, you get you get uh, mixed up in the emotion and the intensity in a UAAP game. Uh, you know, even me when I'm watching an, a UAAP game, when I, when we're coaching, uh, the intensity, especially we're playing a tough team, say we're playing at La Salle, at the Nail, the the intensity for us coaches also rises. What more the guys on the court? You know, for the most some parts, they, it just looks those are like shady calls. Why would you even call that? Or why would you even not call that? <laughs> so th th Did that happen in a game, Don? I didn't oh, it happened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> really? Yeah. Which which game? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, throughout throughout the collegiate games in the seasons and previous season, it happens. There has been some bad calls. I just I just want um, the referees and the technical committee to be more transparent. Um, I don't know how they'll do that. I want them to have more training. Most of the time, they make great decisions. But most of the time, they make the right decisions. But, however, they there are uh, times also when they have made errors and they have gotten suspended and, and all those things. And, um, you know, end of the day, they, they deserve to be suspended because of those calls. And it's very, some would say dubious, some would say shady calls. Do you guys remember any call that was very memorable um, that you felt was maybe bad or very crucial to Rico your game? Shaking his Rico, head. I see you shaking your head. Bad call. <laughs> Explain. An ano ba to? Um, I think that's my last last year as a UAP player, and then the ref decided to call me a technical foul for nothing. <laughs> for. I think they magnified tinuru, your hand. Tinuro mo yung teammate mo just to switch ah. places for to to. Parituro, parituro. Parituro yon yon. Yeah. 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 Okay. Pero and sa then, TV, sa TV. And then pag ganyan ko. Actually, ang other story is other story is ganto. Pag ganyan ko, sabi ng rep, they nag blow whistle. Ang lumapit pang una si Aloseni. Lumapit sa rep. Ano yung tinawag mo? Ha? Sabi niya, hindi ikaw, siya. <laughs> Kaya nasa likod ako, sabi ko, ha? Bakit? Anong ginawa ko? Ang layo, ang layo ko ah. Uh, ang sabi niya, what I saw is legit. In English ako. <laughs> Sina, sinagot mo rin ng English. <laughs> Tapos, sinumi nila. Eh, hindi pa HD nung time na yun. Eh. Wala pa, hindi pa HD. Pag zoom, blurred. So, lumipat ngayon yung daliri dito. <laughs> So, so that's that's, and then Sabi, and then I started crying. Because, siempre, this is my last year. I want, I want to win, de ba? Yeah. For me, for the Sal community and everything, para sa career ko. And then, yung bad call na yun that decided my whole four years sa Sal. So, naka prostrate talaga and 
out of the playing court pa ako. Actually, yung first technical ko, yun nga, yun yung binago nila, nung, star, nung, nung patapos na kami, binago nila yung mga call ng referee. I, I, make a, I made a layup, and then sumigaw lang ako. Sabi, ah! Sabi yung referee, technical. Pag-shoot ko, bigla, ah! Technical. Sabi yung referee, technical. Bakit? Bawal sumigaw. So, hindi ah. Okay, alam ko na yun. Bawal na sumigaw. And then, yung pangalawang technical ko, bawal na rin palang tumuro sa team. So, kasi baka lumipa. Baka lumipa. Hindi, eh. hindi ah, I swear, I swear, wala talagang, hindi talaga siya dirty finger. Yung, sa lahat ng mga nanonood, I swear talaga. I swear ko sa life ko. I, I believe that, knowing you. Do the Athenians believe it? I believe you, Rico. Oh! oh! Like you, Rico. Okay, so clear na siya sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Finally! After all Kasi these years. After all these years. Oh, ano, 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 nine years? Goodness. years ten years ago? Ten years ago? Nine, nine years ago? Grabe, di ba? Maluwag na sa kanila. Maluwag na yung pusa mo. Hindi kasi, actually, actually, pag, actually, pag nanonood ako ng UAP, tinatanong pa rin nila, tinatanong pa rin ng mga... Mga alumni namin. Actually, kahit yung mga alumni sa Ateneo, pag nakakasalubong ko, so, ito ba yung ginawa mo dati? Because, sir, hindi po talaga. As in, I swear, I swear to God. Kung, swear. Kung, kung yung referee ngayon nanunood sa itong programa na ito ngayon, Ref! Uh, ano, po, uh, ano po ang isasabi nyo, Rico? Uh, pwede po natin direct i-close up. Ano po ang isasabi mo sa referee na yun? Rev, kung malabo lang sana yung mata mo dati, pina, pinabili kita ng ano, salamin para... <laughs> kasi baka nagkamali ka lang nung... Kasi ito talaga yun, o. Yan, yan, o. Yan, yan. So, yun. Yun lang. Yun lang yung ano ko. Okay. Okay, so clear na lahat. Uh, finally, yun. Rico Merhofer finally speaks up on SND Unfiltered. Congratulations. We're talking now about the celebrities mm -hmm. and media personalities when you're a basketball player. Now, I know a lot of the players today, their coaches prohibit them from taking pictures with fans or from tweeting anything or going on social media if it's game day. Was it like that for you guys? Were you allowed to take pictures with people during during the games? or? The, um, the biggest thing that um, I learned lang na from Coach Joel May, sinabi siya sa amin na kapag hinaluan mo ng pag-aartista ang karir mo, uh, ang basketball, tapos na karir mo. So, for me, um, yun lang, parang uh, I was really careful lang na, you know, I stayed focused lang. Um, not to let too many distractions come into my head, no? Um, so... From that, I, I took the cue from, from that ano, advice from him lang na ano, you be responsible lang for it. Nico, can you add to how social media has affected the players now? Like, from, from your experience, how do you think you would have dealt with it if uh, it was as active as uh, it was today during your time? I think during my time, it was just starting. Mm. It was uh, Twitter. Twitter was there, but Instagram was still, uh, at the, was still a baby. Mm. And... Uh, with the players today, it's a huge platform for them. You see, they have uh, maybe 100, 300,000 followers, and it gives them um, opportunity to to get more endorsements, to market themselves more, and they're more accessible than to fans with the uh, Insta stories, the Snapchats, and stuff like that. So there are pros and cons. And going back to Don's point, Kanina, I mm. think that's why the rivalry isn't as intense now. As it was before, is because I know they're concerned of their uh, image. They're concerned of their image, their marketability. They want to be that guy who, who helps that guy, mm -hmm. para yeah. on, diba? And then it, it makes you look good, and then the, the brands would like to to approach you to approach you because you have this certain image. All right, so we've had a really good time comparing UAP before and UAP now. But uh, when you get back up, Amelia, we'll talk about what these guys think about the present players and how they think their teams will fare this upcoming UAP finals. All that and more when SNA returns. <laughs> Welcome back to SNA Unfiltered, the UAP Finals Special. Now, let's talk about this season's players. I want to ask each and every one of you guys, um, who among the players reminds you of yourself? 
So let's start with the Rain Man, Ren Ren Ritualo. Sino ba ang Rain Man ng UAP Season 80? Well, uh, with Adamson, it was, it's uh, Jeric Anamisi. I just hope na yung uh, killer instinct ma-develop pa niya. Mm. I mean, syempre, pag tinitignan mo yung, yung uh, style of play niya, he's really a shooter, but uh, he's a good ball handler. He can go to the basket, uh, but his personality is too chill. Rico, sino naman ang uh, nakikita mo na parang Rico Merhofer ngayon sa UAP? For me, um, I think sila... Ben Ambala, Brad. Ben Ambala, <laughs> yun. Um, idol, idol yun. Eh. Pet Malu yun, Pet Malu. Um, si ano, si... Si the guy Santillan and Baltazar. Ah, Leonard Santillan. Kasi I think they're not looking to most likely kapag nakuha nila. Parang more on ano sila, role player. Yeah, so... Sometimes kasi sa team, yung pinaka-importante yung role player. Kasi sila yung nakapagdala sa inyo sa championship. So yung mga small and small details, small things na matters para sa kanila. Ganun ako dati nung college. college ako. And sa work ethic naman si, ano, si Prince Rivero. Hmm. Nakikita ko yung sarili kung paano ako dati. Okay, alam naman natin, high standards si Don Aliado. Don, sino ba ang... Uh, uh, I like... You know, I, I uh, it's hard for me to compare myself, and it's not like it's not that um, you know I, I think of myself so so highly. Mm. No, it's more of um, uh, I, I hold myself to a certain standard, and all, we all of the players they all we all do that. Um, I, I like the intensity of Embala, I, I really do, and I like the the smartness of Isaac Go. He's one of my favorite uh, big men in, in the UAAP. He's um, Walang sayang nagalaw sa kanya. If you look at him, uh, very methodical in his approach, and now he's able to step out from the outside. He learned the game quite fast from last year until this year. The improvement that he had. So, um, and, you know, again, the intensity of Embala and, and the smartness of of Isaac Go. And from the blue side, Nico, who player reminds you most of yourself? I think the two Tolentinos, the Tolentino from Ateneo and the one in they FEU, mm. uh, they're both, uh, they both play the three and four positions. I think they're both you know, tweeners. They can score inside and out. They take advantage of the mismatches. They post up smaller defenders, drive against uh, uh, slower guys. And they're able to defend the multiple positions as well. Sayang nga lang yung Tolentino sa FEU sa Ateneo, dapat yun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Larry? I would say uh, Gian Mamuyak. Um, guys plays defense, um, uh, the spot-up three-pointers, and does a lot of intangibles for, for the team, and he's a spark plug off the bench. Na. So, um, I have high hopes for him. Um, right now, pag pinapasok siya ni Coach Tab, uh, instant impact, and he finishes the games pa uh, sometimes. No? So, um, yeah, that guy. I like that choice because uh, Gian Mamuyak has good blocking ability. Uh, he blocked Steph Curry, <laughs> just like Larry blocked uh, Mac Mac. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I was gonna say the the same guy, Gian Mamuyak. Oh. He, he plays, uh, you know, he's he's one of the guys who you know has that uh, defensive uh, mentality. When he goes inside the game, you know, he's you know he's going to defend. He's going to run after that ball. So. Uh, that's what I, I I mean he's the the closest player that I, I you know I, I, I see that uh, can be I mean compared to like my very very small talent <laughs> I mean he's he's a better guy than me that's, I, uh, that's, that's, that's what I think that's big words coming from the co MVPs mm -hmm. of uh, the season 65 finals all right so now that we know which players you guys find yourself most like or most into now we're going to do a bit of a, a bit a bit of a fast talk mm -hmm. nico who's most likely to play in the national team isaac go <laughs> <laughs> everybody loves isaac go right now <laughs> same answer isaac go 3d and uh, richie richie rivero larry national team Isaac. I have to say Isaac because that kind of <laughs> skill set is really needed for, for Gilas. Yeah. Uh, that stretch big. Absolutely. I think they're still not over Isaac's shot yeah. the other day. <laughs> oh, even before Isaac's mm. shot. Mm. Oh, okay. All of you national guys, team. Isaac You too? also see him in the national team, uh, Isaac. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, even before that shot of his mm. that, that saved the day for Ateneo, uh, I saw his skill set and, uh, you know, I've, I'm always, uh, of course, I'm a big man 
And so I'm always looking for a big man who can stretch out the defense and has that IQ. So, yeah, for me, Isaac, Isaac go definitely shoe in for the national team. As long as he doesn't eat too much rice. <laughs> as what Larry mentioned earlier. <laughs> Ako, sa akin. Sa akin, ano, yung na-naturalized player na natin si Ben Embala. Kunin <laughs> 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 nyo na ba sa Alab? <laughs> Oo, oh, naturalized player natin si Ben Embala para, para Pinoy na rin. Hindi, <laughs> sa akin, Rizzi Rivero. Okay. Well, played, uh, I played uh, with the national team for a certain amount of years and I witnessed how can we compete. Yan ang naging uh, question. Well, we have to develop shooters. So for me, really, it's Jerry Ganamisi. And of course, Isaac Ko also because of his range and high basketball IQ. He so said it's really important. Uh, if you go in inside there, it's really tough. You, every time, you'll, you'll be bound up. But uh, if you're, you have that outside threat, we have that inside out and a consistent okay. shooter. It really help a lot in the, in the national team. Okay, so now we know who's most likely to go onto the PBA, who's most likely to go onto the national team. But now, who do you think is most likely to become a coach? So, Medjo Ebato. Yeah, let's, you need let's, a different let's, skill set let's, to let's be try a coach. to get um, just one of them to answer that specifically. Since Ren is a coach right now, and uh, he told me before that he didn't imagine himself yes. being a coach. Ngayon, Ren, sino sa tingin mo ang uh, player sa UAAP na pwede maging coach in the future? Well, looking at our at our uh, Adamson's uh, line up Jerry can be seen no Jericho 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 he's very vocal and uh, he he's the leader, leader inside the floor Robbie he's the extension of uh, coach fans uh, it will be uh, Robbie Manalong and uh, Jerry Pinguay Larry who do you think is going to be the MVP next year 30 if he's not there yeah Thirty. Okay. Thirty. Okay. So, do you guys agree? Thirty could be the next MVP. Could be. As a Neosha. Then Isaac Go is still there. <laughs> <laughs> you got. We talk about only local players. You guys want to know local players or even anyone the in the UAP? Well, Richie also. He's he's part of that squad. So and also for our team, um, you got you got guys like Papi Sar and Jerek Ahanmisi. Sure about that. About the first or the second? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to ask Nico this because Nico has been a champion in every year he's played in the UAP. Yeah, you've had yeah, many, yeah. you've had many great teammates, uh, Nico, uh, Ryan Buenafe, Eric Salamat, Greg Slaughter, Kiefer Avena. But if if you had a chance to play with any player right now in UAP season 80, who would that player be? And let's uh, keep it. Outside of Isaac, go this time. <laughs> ben Embala. Yeah. Ben Embala. If you want to win championships, yeah. you, you'd like to play with him. So you pick Ben Embala as a teammate that you would like to have, but what about a coach that you would like to play under? Is mm. there any coach in the UAP that you idolize or someone that you'd like to learn from? Wes? Aside from Coach Joe. Joe. <laughs> 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 What? What's wrong with that, Don? You don't like that? Oh, may, may hugot yun, no, of course not. Now, aside from Coach Jolie, pa, uh, well, um, Coach Tab is, you know, he's, he's doing really well here in the, in the UAAP. And of course, uh, Coach Olsen as hell. Mm. Let's not forget. <laughs> Don, I want to ask you this one. Which player would you just love to beat one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, yeah, Embala. <laughs> yeah. You think you'd beat him one on one right now? Prime. Not right now. Give me my prime, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my prime, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your prime. My prime. You beat yeah. him. My prime. Easily? Would it be close? Of course not. I mean, it's you know, I, that's my competitive nature. You know, diyak mo I don't think he he would be able to guard me um, when when I start doing my uh, my my post moves and my pump fakes. <laughs> I remember Asitao Lava calling calling you the Dirk Nowitzki of uh, oh. of the pros. Uh, I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> Asi, come on, brother. Yeah, he's probably drunk that's, when you uh, said that. <laughs> that's, that's a little I think too he much. I said it during the pregame. But thank though. you. Okay, so that pretty much ends our fast questions round but before we go we just want to ask you this one question 
Who do you think is gonna win in the game that's coming up? Will it be Ateneo or La Salle? Let's give everybody a chance to say their piece. At bias dito. It has to be your truthful, honest opinion. Can I go first? So friendly. Okay, okay. No, at least, di ba? I think uh, for me, uh, La Salle has the, the the upper hand here. You know, talent-wise, you know, when you see, when you look at the composition of that team, they're really they're really talent-laden. Uh, but you know. Uh, Ateneo on the, other, on, the, on the other hand has you know I think has a better system so it's about you know uh, individual players against a system so I, I, I wouldn't know who's who's gonna win but you know as an Atenean of course I want to uh, I want Ateneo to win do you think we're gonna make it to game three or do you think it will end in game two I think it's gonna go to game three and mm. Ateneo you know it, that's a tough squad there number one eh, they have they are so well disciplined uh, tab, tab ball, Coach Tabs has got them um, on point with that. They don't go for too many uh, gam uh, gambles on, on defense. They don't gamble too much. And they make the right decision every time. Plus you have uh, a, a shooting big man like an Isaac Go making right decisions there. Isaac Go. Isaac Go again. He's a big factor. Let me tell you. He's a, he's a, he's a big factor in my, in my opinion. And he's going to give he's gonna give Mbala, you know, a... Uh, uh, a uh, full night. And you talked about the coaching of Tab Baldwin. I want to get your opinion, Nico, on Coach Aldin Ayo, who was wearing blue mm -hmm. in one of the games in the Final Four. What do you think Coach Aldin can do to somewhat match the coaching of Coach Tab to win the championship and go back to back for La Salle? But the game I saw when Ateneo was playing FEU, he was wearing yellow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yellow, na man. Yeah. Okay. But I guess, I uh, know. I'm sure he has his own style, mm. right? He has that mayhem, that mayhem press. Mm. It's something that Ateneo has to worry about. And he has to also worry about Coach Tab's system. So it's going to be a, it's really 50-50. But of course, I'm going for Ateneo. So this finals is really difficult to mm -hmm. predict. Yeah. Ren, Yo. your prediction for this uh, very uh, balanced final series. Well, it's going to go down to game three. Of course, uh, La Salle's lineup is very deep. They're really talented. They're really stacked. So there's no reason for them to lose. Because their lineups like Mbala, Richie Rivero, Melesio, Kibon Talbo, Santelian, uh, Baltasar. Uh, they're really tough. So no one knows what's going to happen today, but I guess we'll find out in yeah. just a few minutes as game number one begins, Kappa Media. But thank you very much to our Ooh. guests for being here today. We've accomplished a lot of things. We've talked about things you want to change in the UAP. We've cleared Rico's name. So now everybody knows that he's very innocent. And Wes did not walk out this year. Yes. So we've Wes improved. Very we've this improved. Year. We're friendlier this year. So Shout out to Coach Jolipa. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time for Anton and I to say goodbye, Kahomilia, and up front at the UAP is up next. So good luck to both DLSU and Ateneo. Their battle for greatness this season continues later at Game 1 of the Finals. This is SNA Unfiltered, the UAAP Finals Special. <laughs>